ओम श्री साई राम प्रशांति संदेश वेलकम टू साई पर्स ऑफ विजडम इट्स फेमिलियर टू ऑल ऑफ अस दट भारत इज द बर्थ प्लेस ऑफ ऑल अवतार्स भारत इज कर्ड भारत भूमि इज ऑल्सो ए प्लेस ऑफ एक्टिविटी सो कर्म भूमि इज ए लैंड ऑफ मेरिट पुण्य भूमि सो इट इज द प्लेस ऑफ बर्थ ऑफ सेवरल अवतार्स जन्म भूमि दीज थिंग स्वामी सेड मेनी टाइम्स I would like to draw your attention to one important point. Sri Rama was born in Ayodhya, but the mission of destroying Ravana and other demons was carried out in Lanka. Sri Krishna was born at Mathura, but he narrated Bhagavad Gita on the Kurukshetra and made Dwaraka his capital. but the presence is such a avatar is an exception because he his birthplace and the place of his mission are the same and that is puttaparthi on 20th october 1940 sachinarayan raju or sachcha or bhagwan sri sachai baba declared from now on i am no more your satya i am sai saying that he left the house of his brother sheshmarazu in uravakonda then satya then walked to a garden in front of sri anjaneyulu's house and sat under a tree he taught his first bhajan manasa bhajare guru charanam dustar bhava sagara Taranam. To all those who had gathered there, the bhajan sing, singing continued for three successive days. Suddenly, Baba said aloud, "Look, Maya has come." Everyone turned in the direction indicated, and saw Mother Isharama and Padavankamarazu. Both of them urged Baba. to return home but he said who belongs to whom who is a son who is a father he said ma veiled but to no avail finally baba told her bring me some food she rushed home and brought some food in a plate baba mixed it all and made several balls out of it he swallowed three of them and said now Maya has run away. No need to worry. He turned around and went back to the garden. Now Vishrama accepted the fact that from now on he was not her son but Sai. She said to Baba, "I will not come in the way of your task, but you must return back to Puttaparthi." Baba accept, acceded to her request and left for Puttaparthi. In this manner, the avatar accepted. his janma bhumi as his karma bhumi the place of birth and place of his mission well i would like to draw your attention to another one mr homer a resident of california united states of america works as a scientist for nasa he photographed puttaparthi through a satellite stationed about 200 miles above the earth but when he saw the photographs he was disappointed due to the great distance only black and white clouds were seen on the photographs years later he showed the photographs to some guests while seeing them a lady suddenly exclaimed this is sai baba on close observation they were able to perceive sri sat sai baba's face clearly it was composed from those numerous black and white clouds the crown of his thick black hair eyes nose and even the mole on swami's cheek were clearly visible 
Mr. Homer calculated on the basis of the latitudes and concluded that Swami's farm was spread over an area of 40 miles in length and 20 miles in width. Everyone was surprised and they all realized that although Swami is in Puttaparthi, His grace and presence is spread over a very large, large area. Very interesting to note these details. At the age of 14, Bhagavan Sri Satsayavava declared that he was the reincarnation of Shirdi Baba. Yes. In 1963, on the auspicious occasion of Guru Purnima, he spoke about Shirdi Sai, Satcha Sai, and the next incarnation, Prema Sai. He gave fresh and new information about all the three avatars, which nobody was aware of. In 1940, after he declared that he was the reincarnation of Shirdi Sai, many came to him to seek his darshan, but most of them did not know about Shirdi. Baba used to often sing to them the glory of Dhuni, Vibhuti, Dwaraka Mai, Neem Tree, Muti Vada, and Samadhi Mandir through bhajans. Once he gave a vision of Shirdi Sai Samadhi, Neem Tree, Khandoba Mandir to Srimati Subbamma, the doubting Thomas, an advocate by name Krishna Machari, and Pedavanka Parazu in Puttaparthi itself. From then on, Pedavanka Parazu and the advocates' doubts about Baba were cleared. Later, Swami revealed through many incidents that he was Shirdi Sai in his earlier incarnation. For the first time during Navaratri in 1961, Bhagwan Baba organized Veda Purusha Saptah Jnana Yajna. All the learned Brahmins were invited to perform the Yajna with Brahma Sri Shivarama Bhairagi Shastri as the head priest. Bhagavan was very keen that Yajna should be performed properly according to the prescribed rites and rituals. So he called Bhairagi Shastri to him and asked for a list of all the required materials for the Yajna. Shastri prepared a list after consultations with his colleagues and gave it to Bhagavan. Accordingly, all the materials were acquired and brought there. Despite this, just five minutes before the Yajna was to commence, Shastri realized that he had forgotten to list a particular type of Kalasha, a vessel required for the Yajna. A petrified Shastri approached. Shastri was very much perturbed, disturbed, very much frightened. And he approached Swami and confessed his lapse. The ever compassionate Swami said, This is why I had asked you to for a proper list. Now only five minutes are left for the Yajna Muhurtam. Saying this, Swami went inside a room and within three, min three minutes came out with a beautiful silver kalash kalasha with pictures of deities inscribed on it. On seeing that perfectly suited kalasha, Shastri was wonderstruck. Bhagavan Baba told him, In Shirdi Avatar, I have kept, I have kept this kalasha in Chincholi Palace. At the moment, it was lying around with other odd things in the storeroom of the palace. I just went there and brought it back. The letters Sa Ba, S A and B A, meaning Sai Baba, were inscribed on the Kalacha. It is only by His divine grace that we have been fortunate to witness the divine. Leelas of Prabhu Satya Sai, who was Shirdi Sai in the previous 
incarnation. In 1963, on the occasion of Guru Purnima, Swami declared for the first time that is Shiva Shakti incarnate. We all know that Kailas is the original abode of a Shiva Shakti. Once a devotee named Kailasam came to Swami. Swami asked him, "What is what the word Kailasam meant?" The devotee was unable to reply. Swami said. Kailasam is a symbol of cleanliness, holiness, and purity. It also means a pure heart. Therefore, Shiva chose the pinnacle of Kailas as his abode, and as Paramatma, he also resides in the sacred hearts of his devotees. Well, this is the story of Shirdi Sai devotees. Let me narrate and share with you. Well, a Shirdi Sai devotee travelled to Bangalore for sightseeing in May 1963, when he, along with his family, was about to get into a, a hired car. An old man, or six feet tall, with white hair and beard, wearing a white dhoti and a shirt. came to them asking do you want any help i belong to this city so i know it well if you are going for a sight seeing i can guide you well charmed by his speech and happy for the help the devotee readily accepted the offer the old man showed them the entire bangalore city but avoided eating lunch with them on much insistence he had coffee <coughs> in the evening the old man asked the driver to take the car on a particular route although the driver was familiar with the city this particular route was not uh, known to him the old man asked to stop the car at a place he took all of them inside a narrow tunnel it was dark inside but there was an oil lamp and in its light they saw an effulgent shivalinga the old man asked everybody to take darshan of shivalingam and also gave them the tirtham but he himself did not partake it at the end of the day when the old man was about to leave the devotee offered him some money but he refused when they asked his name he said something which was strange and when he asked about his address he pointed in a particular direction saying over there he also told them we will meet the day after tomorrow yes before the family were to leave mumbai a friend of theirs had suggested that they should go to whitefield and seek darshan of sri sat sai baba who is the incarnation of shirdi sai accordingly they reached white field at noon and having waited in front of the closed gates in the hot afternoon sun for half an hour they received a message call those people from mumbai inside when the family went in swami welcomed welcomed them personally he smiled and asked them so how did you like our bangalore you have visited all the places we had met the day before yesterday that gentleman was realized that the old man who accompanied them as a guide was none other than sri sai baba himself now he remembered what the old man has told them the name jodi adipalli somappa Swami Pai Shiva, who resides in pure hearts, Swami Himself showed the old Shiva temple to this devotee with a pure heart. How lucky he is! Yet he was mysterious, because later there was no tra- trace of the temple, despite all efforts by many devotees to locate it. Many devotees have had similar experiences. whenever they faced with 
calamities, Jodi Adipalli Somappa has given them darshan and rescued them. Sairam will meet again later.